Hello everyone, this is Zuken. Today I'm bringing you a new painting video. This one is going to be quite thematic actually, today being the 31st of October. Happy Halloween in case you celebrate it. I don't. It has not made a presence for itself in the Czech Republic. Not yet at least. In fact, the only person I saw today, because I went out, that had anything to do with, with Halloween was this poor young girl that was working at a bubble tea stand in the mall. And uh, they had painted her face with some sort of black eye and a stitched mouth and a kind of a reminiscent of a zombie sort of thing. And it was just a very sad image because I was looking <laughs> I was looking at her and imagining for the amount of money she makes working at that shitty bubble tea stand, the company most likely enforced the idea that they have to be uh, Western and uh, American and Halloweenish and uh, paint their faces. So it's it just a very a very sad image seeing that poor girl that probably makes like less than two bucks an hour sitting there with a, a painted face looking ridiculous serving bubble tea to 10 year olds but what you gonna do it's the uh, risks of the job so anyway back to the drawing this is actually uh something i did over a week ago it's a witch in case you haven't figured it out yet i've been drawing so much lately that i'm actually building up a backlog which is something that has never happened before and it's quite good but I'm kind of starting to to get what I've been doing wrong so far. Like even looking at this drawing, and I'm going to point some things out for the people who are here for a somewhat educational purpose, I would say, other than just watching me talk about random shit. Um, last video, I proposed that people send me their artwork, and I do a sort of an art critique show. Well, the response to that has been universally positive. Seems people really dig that idea. Um... So go ahead and send me all your stuff, preferably not your worst possible stuff, to zukdastuff at gmail.com, so my channel name at gmail.com, and I will try to make a, a weekly feature uh, whereby I take the piss out of your stuff somewhat. I'm going to try and make it somewhat informative the, to the best of my abilities, um, and it should be interesting. So just mail me your pictures or link me whatever you have on DeviantArt, try and not, not like... Don't be an absolute beginner because I can't help you in that case. Like I, I, I don't know what to tell you. If you've just started out, it's just too much to cover. And an absolute beginner is not really going to get it, you know, no matter how much I talk about it. So, you know, just if you think it's uh, it'll be fun, <laughs> me uh, shitting all over your stuff, then go ahead and send it and uh, we'll see what comes of it. So anyway, let's talk about the process of this drawing. Uh, I've been studying a lot of other artists lately, um, which I, I it's, it's it's like a constant in my life now. Every day I look at what other people draw, and I've noticed some uh, some sort of tendencies, like patterns of how people uh, approach their drawings. A lot of times they, for example, they merge them with the line art. And that's one way to do it. So you do the line art. It's somewhat precise, not completely messy, um, but it's not really like spot on, like comic style. It's just a very loose line drawing. And then they merge the the underpainting, like the, the solid colors with the line work, and they work within that, like they actually paint over the line work. And other people do the line work, then they do the colors, the flat colors, and then they just, uh, they paint with the line work on a hidden layer and activate it once in a while. So this is kind of what I've been doing so far. Like I just couldn't come to terms with the idea of, of merging uh, my drawing with the line work because I just want to see... Sometimes if I maybe paint it over a detail and there I forget about it, I want to see if it's still in the line work and if it's um, it's all there. So that's one thing that uh, I guess I can incorporate in my style, like uh, not merging with the line work. But of course, it depends on the person. Like I usually have pretty good line work uh, most of the time when I actually make the effort. And... Uh, I guess I could could try, but from what I've seen, it's not really it's not really working out for me. Another thing that I've uh, I've noticed about my own because I'm gonna, I'm gonna do kind of a self critique now. One thing that I still have problems with right now is um, like color variation. A lot of times, even in this painting, there are just not enough colors. And of course, you're not gonna put randomly like pink and fucking purple when it doesn't belong there. But uh, just the registry of colors that's used to to show a certain thing like a hand or a face, I think I'm not uh, still intuitively getting where to put certain colors. But it's getting a little bit better. And one one priceless resource that I've come across recently, uh, Blizzard has now a press site. So I think it's blizzard.gamespress.com where they have a lot of artwork in very high resolution. Some of them are even in, uh, 
what I think is original resolution. Some other stuff by John Polidora, for example, which is an artist that I, I follow and I've been following for years now. He did a lot of the illustrations for the Blizzard promotional stuff and the, the patches within World of Warcraft. So he's really good. And he has that, that style that I've been talking about lately. <clears throat> so there's a bunch of his stuff there at uh, Original Resolution. They have even the PSDs for some reason. Like It seems like a very random collection they have there. But some of the stuff is actually amazing. Uh, they have all the, um, the Heroes of the Storm Heroes Gallery that were painted by Mr. Jack, another artist that I'm a fan of, uh, in very high res. So you can like zoom in and see kind of how, how stuff looks like. One uh, shocking discovery that I made after looking at all of these resources, which I are, are now safely and snugly on my hard drive, downloaded like gigs of them, is that uh, these pro artists are very loose with their colors. Like they don't, they don't stick within the lines necessarily. They have very refined edges, so you can, if you zoom out to like a thumbnail size, you can still see where the hands are separately from the body, like where the armor kind of joins in and uh, separates from other parts in the drawing but if you actually look at the drawing in in very close up close um the colors are just all over the place it's very messy it's very loose and one thing that i i see looking at my drawing right now in comparison to these people is that i'm over rendering that's something that i've always done like i'm spending way too much time on trying to to iron out details and make uh, maybe a knuckle pop out or something something like that ridiculous that doesn't necessarily need to happen. While in one of my recent drawings that I have now recorded, which I'm going to post in the next few days, I purposefully try to not be as exact with my stuff. And I think it turned out looking much better. And that's something that I need to just actively think about when I'm doing this stuff, like not uh, trying to smooth everything out and make everything look like... Uh, like it's super organic, you know, some even the organic like hands and, and feet and faces in those uh, pro artist drawing, they're they're like sharp lines, boom, just the nose is this line and then the highlight and that's it. And from up close, it looks like crap, like it looks really poopy. But when you zoom out, it looks fantastic. It looks very sharp and very just, yeah, sharp and good and proper. So that's, um, it feels like magic, you know, when you zoom in. When I've, I've spent like hours zooming in on those drawings, like, what the fuck is this? Like, it looks like shit, honestly. It looks like super shit from up close. And then you zoom out and everything is in its right place and everything just looks spot on. So it's it's a kind of an interesting realization for me. And also I wanted to approach a topic that, uh, you know, I know people lately have been telling me that I'm uh, putting my putting myself down and like uh, self-loathing. My, it's not about that. For me, is a reality that I'm not as good as these people. It's not that I'm sad about it. Like, I don't sit and cry in my pillow that <laughs> I'm so bad. I know I'm not as good as them, but I'm aspiring to be as good as them. Like, it's not, it, there's nothing wrong with it. I, I don't have any self-confidence issues necessarily. Like, I know I'm much better than a, a large proportion of the population, but not, I'm not gonna, like, okay, here's an example. I know of a, an acquaintance who posts her drawings, like she's an art student, fourth year in America. She posts her drawings um, everywhere, Instagram, Facebook, uh, Twitter, everywhere, absolutely everywhere. She posts like a million tags on them, art student, uh, graphic design, this and that, and they are absolute garbage. Like they are the level of a seven-year-old in, in first grade doodling for fun. And this person is like almost 30 years old and she's arts, an art student in year four. So when looking at that, like that's a case of, of uh, you know, unrealistic expectations and uh, just basically delusion, you could say that. You know, for me, I'm, I'm aware that my stuff is pretty good, but not as good as it could be. So it's never a case of, of self-loathing. So I really don't need the cheering up. Like, thank you, I appreciate it, but I think you misunderstood what I'm kind of trying to say with my comments about my stuff this is uh i'm trying to incorporate a sort of a self-critique in my stuff so i just don't post videos and be like oh yeah this is a witch and it's the best it could be no it's not the best it could be there's a, like a thousand things that could be better about you know for example this painting and that's reality it's not me hating myself it's just i'm trying to teach myself by making these videos as well so anyway <clears throat> just uh, fyi so yeah that's gonna be it for now Thanks a lot for watching. Remember to send me your artwork at zookdustuff at gmail.com. And now I'm going to see.
Michael Flatley's Lord of the Dance. It's gonna be fun. Thanks for watching. Please rate that shit. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.